Hi, welcome to Val's Visions and Designs. I get a lot of questions about wood burning, so I thought today I would do a video dedicated to how I wood burn. Um, I prefer wood burning just because I like a cleaner project. Um, this is a roll of a fabric mesh, and you can see how frayed the edges get when you cut it with a rotary cutter. Now, if I'm going to do ruffles especially, I do like to wood burn. So, what I have is a glass cutting mat. I mean, I have my mat with a glass over it. My mat uh, glass cuts, cuts it, uh, 24 inches. So, this is a larger piece simply because it's more convenient. And then I mark my, my most common places that I cut, which is 10, 18, and 20. So, what I do to cut my mesh is I start off, this is actually a check fabric mesh. Most of your fabric meshes will wood burn, so also that's something else people ask me a lot is what fabrics will wood burn. If you have anything that it contains jute, it's not gonna wood burn. For instance, this is a jute mesh, and so this cannot be wood burned. You can see that there's jute fibers running through this, so that's the biggest key, burlap and jute will not wood burn so usually if i use these fabrics i use a woodland ruffle but this is a real pretty uh, spring green color and what i do to start off with is i use rocks to kind of hold projects you want to make sure that you get your mesh lined up on your mat to give yourself a straight cut that's the easiest way i know to do it so i'll just take a rock and place it on one end where it's where it's clean and then I'll move this end down to the one but first off let's cut that clean edge I have a metal ruler that I like to start off with to get that clean edge on the very beginning because I want to get rid of this fray so I just kind of make sure everything's lined up and then my wood burning tool I just get this off Amazon you can get these on um, at Walmart you just want to use that flat edge this is the tip that comes with it that works the best. I don't know how well that shows. All right, and then I just kind of use my ruler to make that first cut. And this will give me a nice straight edge. So just be sure that you're wearing a mask when you're wood burning because the fumes are very strong. For this demonstration, I'm not gonna wear a mask, but I highly recommend you do. Of course, I've got a lot going on. These are very hot, so be very careful. So now that I have that first edge cut, then I'm just going to bring it to my one. And I can go ahead and add another rock to kind of hold that in place. And then I can cut my piece. Most of the time, I'm going to cut it 18. You don't have to continue to use the ruler, but if you do want to try to make a clean cut, I think it does help to have that ruler. And then you just simply bring it down on the 18 inch mark. And that gives you a much better edge when you do your wood burning. Now next I have, this is just a basic roll with the foil in it. This is an orange. I'm going to be using these colors for the upcoming project. This one I've already wood burned the edge before. So I can tell it's been wood burned because it's not fraying. Now wood burning is not going to completely eliminate frays, but it does help. It does help make it less, if that makes sense, okay? So again, I'm gonna make this piece. I'm just gonna lay my rock to kind of get it steady. Make sure, again, that I've got my, my uh, mesh lined up on my mark so that I know that I'm gonna cut it as straight as I can and then roll it out and place another rock on it. Now, if it's nice and tight and I feel like it's nice and tight, I just go ahead and just run it straight down that line. Just again, watch your hands, watch the fumes. And you can tell how much cleaner it cuts. Now I have two other videos that I'm going to link to this one. One is just testing different brands and the other one is showing how I would burn two different mesh together. I have one other mesh that I want to show you, actually two. This one is a high foil mesh. I'm going to be using this one in an upcoming project that I'm going to do for you. So this has got the high foil. This is a black mesh I'm going to be using in the Halloween wreath. When you have your high foil, it will wood burn. Sorry, I should have opened this before I started. And I reuse these plastic bags to put my mesh back in. So I try to 
hard not to tear it up because you can reuse these plastics to just put your roll right back in. That's just the way that I do it. I have a fan on so everything's blowing around. Now the high foil is a little trickier, but it will burn. So again, we're going to start off with that first edge. And so I know that I've got to roll it out and get it straight on my mat, as straight as I can get it. And then I grab my metal ruler again. You've got to use something metal. And when you first burn this, it will cut through the foils, but you're going to need to cut it a little bit slower for it to go through all of the foil. And once you cut that first piece, it usually goes a little bit faster. All right, so I've cut that. You'll have a few of the little pieces when you first start. I just kind of run my wood burner down there one more time. Like I said, it doesn't completely stop frays. It just reduces frays and just simply throw that piece away. And now I'm ready to make my next cut. So again, I'm just going to roll it to my one, line it up, get my rocks. This one I want a little bit longer. So if I want the pieces to be a little bit longer, I can just adjust my glass cutting board and I'm going to bring it to the 24. These are going to actually be pieces for in the center. And again, I have it lined up and I'm going to go ahead and cut it again. I think the ruler is helpful. It basically gives something there to protect between my fingers and, and where I'm cutting. And again, just cut it a little bit slower because you've got all that foil to go through. And there's your cut. After you cut that first initial piece, this gets very simple. And I've just got a, a glass ashtray that I use to prop my wood burner in. It holds it perfectly for me and it doesn't fall off my table. So I think that's a great idea. All right, I've got one more mesh I want to show you. Let me grab that one and I'll be right back. Another one of my very favorite to use is a check, fab, check mesh. This is the black and white check mesh I'm going to be using also in a wreath that I'm going to make for you coming up. This one has this white threading that goes through it, which really frays. So let me just show you what it looks like if I did the uh, my rotary cutter. It tends to really pull that white thread right out. very easily it will quickly fray because of the different threads so this one is one that i always would burn because of because it will fray so bad so this piece i'm going to cut now with my wood burner let's go ahead and get our straight edge first so i'm going to put my rocks on it make sure i'm lined up on my mat so i can get this as straight as i can and let's go right through where we'll have a white piece Let's cut it about right there and it will make a nice, nice difference when you wood burn. This is time consuming, so it's one of those personal decisions you may want to make. I just like for my wreath to have a clean cut and you still have the little foil in the very beginning. Just kind of brush those out of your way. And then once you make your next cut, I'm going to cut this at 18 inches because I'm going to use these for some adding into that wreath so I'm going to line it up I'm going to come to my 18 and again I like to use my ruler it takes a little bit longer but again it kind of protects your fingers too and now that I come down go just a little bit slower you can pull away your mesh and you have a nice clean cut so I just think it's it's a beneficial thing if I do ruffles especially if I'm doing woodland ruffles I don't always do the wood burning because that's when you roll your edges under this is another fabric that cannot be wood burned if it has the burlap plaid mesh that means there's burlap going through it sometimes your rolls won't always tell you what fabrics in it um, tinsel mesh can also be wood burned so most of your mesh can be wood burned. It just depends a lot on which, if you're going to use uh, ruffles or woodland ruffles or curls as to whether or not I take that time to wood burn. So I hope that maybe this has helped 
a little bit, especially for beginners. If you're frustrated with getting frays and you want a cleaner project, I just think it's worth the extra time. So thanks for your support. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks, guys.